a little TikTok. So, uh, I was talking to a friend. He called me yesterday from prison, South Central Correctional Center in Licking, Missouri. And he said, he was talking about how they got less wreck than they used to. You know, time on the yard. So I asked him, I said, is it because of the COVID thing that happened a couple of years ago and they just used that excuse not to give you guys the wreck back? He goes, no. He goes, he goes, well, that might be part of it. He said, but the main reason is the lack of staff. He said, he goes, at least here, they are short by 20, 25 uh, staff members. You know, he said, there's officers are pulling 12-hour shifts now instead of uh, eight. And I got to thinking, well, you know, if the Missouri Department of Corrections would pay their officers more, maybe they would, uh, you know, maybe they could, could get more people. But they ain't paying them enough for such the job that they do, you know. And I'm not sticking up for correctional officers because a lot of them are corrupt and dirty and everything else. But if they want more correctional officers paying them more might help and not when i say that they're corrupt and dirty i don't mean all of them but a, a large majority of them are it's just the way it is you know so you got shorter step he said they are also hiring old people elderly people that can hardly walk people right out of school that don't have a clue he said, he asked this one elderly guard, what you, he said, he could just barely walk, you know. He goes, what are you going to do if something happens? And he goes, but it's the same with the young ones, you know, the ones fresh out of school. What are you going to do? Yeah, you may have the energy and the speed and uh, all this, but what are you going to do? He's right. They shouldn't be hiring people straight out of school. And that's just my personal opinion. Anyway, that's my little piece for today. Thank you.